Well, here we have the man that the cricket world is talking about, Brian Lara. 375 in a test against England in Antigua last, um, uh, last April, May. That was a world record, swiftly followed by an individual score of 501 not out for Warwickshire, his English county, in a match against Durham at the test ground Edgbaston. A phenomenal performer. Well, he's come in at three for one. The pressure is really on him. Uh, that's true, I guess. Now, Brian has got to really take on from here, and Phil Simmons and Brian have to do a little bit of uh, rebuilding operations before they really go after the bowling. There he is, Lara. He's uh, a very composed individual, and I, although he's got some flashing strokes, for a man to make such big scores as he does uh, shows there's nothing wrong with his concentration either. And I think he's got a terrific temperament, which is uh, really good. That's what he needs. Just one ball now left of Srinath's over, and here he is to Lara. Get right into line, it's the end of the over, 3-4-1. Well, and that was passing, that was a pretty good one. As we just see now, see the screen has got this uh, ball that is incoming for the right-hander and outgoing for left-hander. It's got a huge one. And Lara was beaten squarely. And you see the lift, you see Lara, uh, he made Lara jump there, which is a real good sign for an Indian. Made him jump, but also opened him right up, didn't it? Because it moved away off the That's seat. right. Three out again to a determined Brian Lara. He didn't play that with any great... I've asked for anything more. The bowlers have been bang on target. Three out to Lara. Oh, that was a good one. That left the batsman. But he played at it. This is the third or fourth time that Lara has been beaten by a similar delivery from Srinath and uh, this really is an excellent spell. Lara has a little bit of luck going his way today. Seventeen for one, the screen out again to Lara. Ooh, and there he played it, that was an appeal, it was a half-hearted appeal. I would think that if it hit anything, took the shirt or the trousers. Uh, Srinath must be wondering what he has to do next to get Lara out because he's had him in all sorts of trouble. Like you can see here, the ball coming in between the bat and the pad and that's really cut him in half. Well, he's in the air, he's going to be caught there, but he is by Prasad at mid-on and so Srinath has got the wicket he deserved. Brian Lara is out. There again, he tried to pick the ball on length. The ball stopped on him a bit. He got the leading edge and Kumble made no mistake. A deserved wicket for Srinath because he's had Lara in all sorts of trouble and if anyone deserved the wicket today, it was Srinath. He's really bowled beautifully. This really is a big blow to the West Indies. The Indians right on top. There you can see it's not all that short for that shot to be played by Lara. He gets the leading edge and uh, Kumble makes no mistake. Terrific wicket for India. So 17 for 2. So, there we saw the... And Lara gave it up straight away, realised he was out, and it's Prasad there, the fielder, getting underneath it, watching it, the perfect catch, took it admirably. And so Lara has gone for six. You can see from his face there, he knew exactly what the answer was, out, O-U-T. That's right, he expected it to go over mid-wicket, but got the leading edge, and uh, Prasad making no mistake. Was that a good shot then? You saw the concentration of the capture. But that is the wicket that the Indians will have wanted above all others. 